Hi everyone, welcome back to THU TV, I'm Ian, and you're watching a whole bunch of interviews about visual effects and animation. Um, I'm joined by Christina from Elyon Animation Studios. Hi, Christina. Hi, nice How to be here with you. <laughs> How are you today? You haven't been too well. Uh, yeah, I think I gotta go, <laughs> but I'm feeling okay now. Or, <laughs> or is it because you're up till 4 a.m.? Uh, no, it's a call, I promise. <laughs> <laughs> well, what I want to talk to you about is basically some really great tips and tricks for getting a job in animation. Mm -hmm. um, you're a recruiter yes. at Ilion, and you know I think the truth is not everyone who wants to get into visual effects and animation and CG production knows what to do. Um, yeah, that's that's a very important question. What to do? Because uh, I think that uh, people when they are starting in this business, uh, they are quite interesting on showing how valid they are and how much they can do. But sometimes they uh, lose a little bit the focus. So uh, when they are looking to uh, start in this business to, to have their first opportunity in maybe in animation with us, uh, the first thing that I will tell them is try to focus, try to find yourselves. Yeah. Because uh, when they are starting, uh, they are like open to everything. And in a studio like ours, uh, we are quite uh, specialized in our areas. Right. So it's very nice to find people so open, but we really need to see how, uh, how able, how capable are them to do something in a specific area. So I would recommend them to take their time to choose an area and to try to prepare a very nice portfolio in that area. Okay, let's talk about portfolio mm -hmm. and reels in a minute. Okay. But first I should really ask you about Ilion. Mm -hmm. um, for people who don't know, you're in Madrid? Yes. And what sort of work do you mostly do? Uh, well, we are an animation studio. We create a high quality animated features and right now we are in a very interesting moment because we are just ending our uh, collaboration with Paramount, their first high quality animated feature, Amusement Park. And we just signed a partnership with Skydance yeah. to create uh, two high quality animated features. So we are just starting with the first of them. And in this case, we are going to be working with two Ilion's original ideas. So that's amazing because we are going to do everything in our studio. Yeah, so right. From the beginning of the project with all the creativity and all the starting up of, of the project to the finishing of the film. So that's what we are doing right now. Yeah, and so does that mean you're ramping up in terms of employing new yeah. artists? Yes, and not only that, but uh, we are going to be looking for all kinds of profiles. Uh, we are going to be looking from production profiles, a lot of them, but also uh, during the next months for all kind of profiles. So we are going to have plenty of opportunities. Right, okay, <laughs> yeah. great. Okay, so let's give everyone some tips and tricks mm -hmm. about what should go into a portfolio or okay. a reel. Now, first the distinction. Is a portfolio 2D art, oh, artwork that you can show as images mm -hmm. or in a book? Or, um, how does that differ from what you might show in a reel? Well, uh, I would say that in a portfolio, it's more about maybe the crea creative kind of uh, profiles. Yes. With uh, just static images. Yep. Uh, which are better to show as static. And then you have reels with all those uh, profiles with a more uh, dynamic kind of uh, profession, like for example, animators or VFX artists, uh, because uh, they really need that movement of the video. But uh, when we are talking, for, for example, about uh, concept artists or designers, you really need to spend a little bit of time looking at the image. So yeah. it's better a static one. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay. 
Because that's right. Uh, you're you're going to be employing different kinds of artists, yes. right? Illustrators, concept artists, designers, yep. all the way through to animators and yes, more to, technical roles yep. as well. Okay. Everything. <laughs> I guess in general terms, if someone is submitting a reel to you, mm -hmm. let's talk about what you want to see in a reel. Okay. Uh, Ilion Animation Studios is a media science studio. So we have quite a specialized department. So uh, when we are looking for an artist, we are looking for a specific area artist. Yep. So for example, if we are looking for a character designer, we are looking for someone who really can uh, manage all the different things that uh, means to be a character designer, but not, a, for example, an environment designer. You know, it's like very specific about characters, but all about characters, from the exploration of the character to the poses, the facial expressions, and maybe a final render image of the character. And with this, you have the same in all different areas. When we are looking for animators, we are looking for an animator. Yeah. And it's very important because uh, when you have a very uh, generalistic profile, sometimes uh, you don't spend uh, as much time as needed in uh, maybe uh, doing the perfect animation of a sort. Yeah. Because you have to do so many things that it's impossible to focus. So uh, what we look for in a reel is uh, that a very specialized profile in an area uh, with all what is needed in that area. How long should a reel be? That's a very good question, <laughs> yeah. But, you uh, know, people don't know. And I think <laughs> people love to hear, right, should only be two minutes or three yes. minutes. Or... Uh, that's funny because most of the people say that only one minute. Right. Uh, but uh, between one minute and three minutes, it's okay. Yep. And you have to think that the, the, the person looking at the reel is going to spend only between 10 seconds and 30 seconds looking at your reel. Right, because so that means put your best work first. At the beginning, right. yes. And not only that, but also think that uh, the people looking at the reels, it's not only the recruiter, but also the specialist of, of, of the area. So uh, they know very quickly so uh, if your reel is okay or not. So don't let any little detail pass, like, uh, well, I have a little mistake, but maybe they don't, they, they won't realize. Right. Yes, we do. <laughs> <laughs> now, what about if you've obviously worked on a production with lots of other people, mm -hmm. a collaboration, you know, with hundreds of people or mm -hmm. just a couple, do you need to subtitle the work and say what you did on that shot? Mm -hmm. Yes. You do? Yes, you should. that's very important. Okay. Because... Uh, when we are looking at reels, uh, we usually uh, see the same uh, scene hundreds of times yeah. because a lot of artists participate in that scene. So it's very useful to say what you did. <laughs> right, great. Yeah, I mean, and it's fair. It's a yes. fair thing to everyone else and not, not say that you've done yeah, the work the of someone thing. else. <laughs> <laughs> now, what about um, in terms of where you put your reel? Should you just have a Vimeo reel and that's a good way. Is it submit to you a CD-ROM, a DVD, I, you know, I your own would, website? What's, what's yes, the Yes, I would really recommend to have it online. Yep. Because it's the easiest way not only to uh, send it, but also to uh, um, update it. Because if you want to do any change, it's easier if it's online than if you give me a CD-ROM and you need to give me a new cd room. It's yeah. like, uh, okay, <laughs> you have to find me. Yeah. This, is, this is me living in the 1990s when I say <laughs> CD-ROM. <laughs> I mean DVD. Yes. <laughs> well, or a USB. <laughs> it's US oh, right, a USB stick. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So what about music? Important? Not important? Uh, mm, I don't think so. Uh, okay. For example, with animation, with animator reels, we usually uh, hear the sound, but with the rest of the reels, I think I've never heard the sound. <laughs> <laughs> so just one uh, music that you like, because yep. it's your reel. I mean, you have to be comfortable with it. Okay. 
All right, I'm getting into the nitty gritty here. Password protect your reel or not? Well, if you send your password, yes. <laughs> Don't forget to send the password. Yes, please. Your name and your password. It's yeah. very important. Right. Uh, but it depends on uh, how the, the kind of information that you have into your reel. Uh, well, in this business, uh, most of the people has a lot uh, have a lot of information under NDA. Mm, exactly. So, in those cases, please use password. Okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's very important. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you've looked at a reel. Mm -hmm. You you've someone's made an application, or you've mm -hmm. just happened to see it at a conference or yeah. a recruitment um, fair or something mm -hmm. like that, and you contact the person. Mm -hmm. Here's something that I think people also aren't good at or don't know what to do in terms of a dialogue mm -hmm. that they end up having with something like, someone like you. Mm -hmm. How does someone behave in email conversations and just in person with you? Uh, well, I think that's our responsibility. I mean, uh, managing those kind of situations is on the recruiter's hands yeah. because they are artists. They have to know how to do their jobs but maybe they are not pretty good at, you know, selling themselves or uh, speaking about uh, their jobs or speaking about themselves. So uh, that's in our uh, hands, in the recruiter's yeah. responsibilities to know how to manage the person and to know how to manage the conversation through email, through phone or yeah. Skype or whatever. What do you think, I know it's different every time, but what do you think is the etiquette about a potential employee chasing up mm -hmm. you for, you know, you've said thanks for your reel or you've said this looks really good. You don't want them emailing you every hour. Do you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, well, I always recommend to uh, write me again as soon as you have something new to, to show. Because uh, maybe right now is not the right time, mm. but uh, maybe in a couple of months it's going to be, we always keep all the information from all the candidates yeah. that send us uh, their uh, application through the website. It's our uh, secret database. Uh, and if you really think that you are in a position to send again your information, do it. Yeah. Uh, it's okay. It's, uh, we are always open to, to check everything again. Great, okay. Someone gets an interview. Mm -hmm. What do you want them to come to the interview with and what things should they do in terms of research? Well, uh, at least knowing what we do. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> Make sure important. you don't say, it's great to be here at a different company. <laughs> yeah, or here that you do BFX. <laughs> no, we don't. Yeah. Uh, so uh, from then, I will expect to know a little bit about our uh, company, but yeah. just like, what kind of things we do, like, hey, yes, we, we work in high quality animated features. And uh, from there, uh, it's very important to remember your details about your life and your professional experience. Uh, because uh, sometimes we spend a lot of time digging on your, okay, here, uh, because here I saw that you've been working in this kind of project. Oh, yes, I, I forgot. Yes, I've been doing this, and it's like, yeah. okay. <laughs> <laughs> so just try to uh, be a little bit aware of your whole professional experience and yeah. about your whole skills, because sometimes people know much more than what they saw. So yeah. uh, it's very important just to remember everything about yourself and uh, to be, I think that uh, the most open and transparent that you can. Yep. I always say that the worst hap thing that can happen to you is to work in a place where you don't fit. Right. That's interesting because obviously different animation studios yep. have different cultures. Yes. Um, what do you do from your end about working out whether someone will fit into your culture? Mm -hmm. It can be hard, right? <laughs> yes, yeah. it's really hard. Uh, we are, well, uh, in this business, or at least our studio is very open to 
all kind of beings. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But uh, I think that uh, at least you have to be as open as we are to serve and to work with people because that's very important to us. And uh, when we are in an interview, what we are looking is for someone just interested in sharing and working with a team because that's the most important thing, in, at least in our studio. Right. Because I think it can be hard as an outsider mm -hmm. to work out what this studio is like, what that studio is like. Do you have any problem with them asking current artists what it's like to work in that studio? And no, yeah. absolutely not. No. I mean, please do it. Yeah. <laughs> Most of the people that it's like uh, in this business, this is a very small business and everybody knows everybody. So uh, please do it. Ask how it's working with us. Ask uh, how is the thing work, how is the technologies, how's everything. And if you really like it, we are more than open to, yeah. to welcome you. Okay, here's another question which is more specific to Ilion because it, you, it probably depends on which studio you go for a job at. Um, are you looking for people who are Spanish? Are you looking for people from the EU, from around the world? How, how does it work in terms of who you can bring on? Uh, we are very open to <laughs> anyone because in fact our uh, official language is English. And I always say that you have to speak English to come and work with us. Right. But you don't need to speak Spanish. Okay. So we are very open. We have Spanish lessons <laughs> <laughs> at the office for the employees because it's very useful when you go outside and uh, you want to ask for a beer or something. <laughs> Can I come just for that and not actually work there? <laughs> yeah. But it's not like uh, we are close to other people from outside or from any other country. Right, but it's, what are the visa issues, if any? Uh, um, well, we usually try to uh, manage all of that, uh, but of course it depends on the budget. Yeah. Because uh, it, not in all the projects we had the opportunity to uh, afford all the visas. Okay. But uh, it's something that is always in our hands and that we are more than uh, open to manage and to do for anyone. Right. I guess that also relates to the interview process. Do you want to do interviews in person or have you done them over Skype and just Most the phone? of them by Skype. Oh, really? <laughs> yes. Okay. Yeah, because even if they are Spanish, most of the people are in anywhere. So, come on, nowadays, Skype yeah. is the, it's the new face-to-face. -face. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So if you, if you want to attract people to Ilion, what mm -hmm. are some of the cool things about working there and, and also living in Madrid? Mm -hmm. Well, uh, about working in Ilion, I will say that uh, it's a very good opportunity to learn a lot and to uh, let other, other people to learn from you because uh, we have a really uh, dynamic uh, workload and uh, work process. So it's, uh, it's a place where you are going to feel very comfortable and where you are going to feel very useful. Because even uh, with very specific teams, we don't have big teams, yep. so you are going to be very important. Right. Okay. So uh, that's uh, something amazing. Now, I'm really naive about working in Spain, but is it a later start time than maybe the rest of the world, or is it very normal hours? Um, you know, the, uh, like the hours of work. I mean, uh, everyone thinks yeah. in Spain you rock up at lunchtime. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we have a really nice Tante. Well, I, I have to say, because we start at uh, half past nine. Right. Uh, which is nice. It's pretty good. It's not very early. We finish at half past six. Okay. But on Fridays, we finish at half past three because we love long weekends. So. <laughs> what? <laughs> yes. Okay. <laughs> and what? People go home. Yes, of course. Half past three. Wow. All right. Yeah, it's very nice. And, and then Spain is a very open country. And Spanish people, even if they don't know English or whatever, we always find a way to communicate. Because we love people. We love uh, going outside. We love uh, being with people and doing things outside and doing a lot of things. We, we have a lot of culture in Madrid. We have a lot of museums. And 
it's a really great place. Yeah. Now, I'm familiar in Madrid with a few tech companies like mm -hmm. Solid Angle and Next Limit um, and a few of the visual effects companies, mm -hmm. El Ranchito yes. and a few others. But I, what kind of industry is there in terms of animation and also visual effects? Because part of, part of being in a city is or in an in a animation job mm -hmm. is being able to communicate with others as yes. well in that same industry. Yeah, I think that we are quite lucky because uh, uh, being in the capital, we have different uh, companies like in VFX. We also have other uh, animation studios there, yep. not as big as us, but uh, with uh, also a kind of uh, good activity in the industry uh, in animated features, in TV series. So it's a place where you are going to have plenty of opportunities not only to uh, work, but also to be in a uh, create a network with other artists. Yeah. And are there many events, you know, where people meet up and, and <laughs> animation things? Would you like more of that to happen? Uh, well, we... <laughs> I would love to have more, but because <laughs> that's always good. <laughs> yeah, 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 that's true. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, there's a lot of things, and we are always creating new events, like, for example, uh, right now we are uh, doing some open mic sessions. Oh, really? Uh, yes, with our do, artists. Do you mean like and, comedy? Uh, like singing. Singing? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Have you done one? Uh, no. <laughs> and terrible singing. <laughs> so, no, thank you. I mean, people who are here at Trojan Horse will know, and people who watched a live feed last the other night saw a karaoke battle. Yes. That was pretty cool, wasn't yeah. it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So this is not karaoke, but your own open mic. Yeah, right. Yes. Yeah. Okay. And what about, okay, let's talk about jobs that are up for grabs at mm -hmm. Ilion right now. You've got those film projects yes. with Skydance. Yes. Um, what are they called, by the way, those films? Uh, for now, uh, the first of them is called Luck, and the second, Split. Okay. It's very short name. <laughs> and what specific <laughs> roles are you looking for um, to fill? Well, uh, we are going to be looking for some uh, pre-production profile, like in concept uh, design. And uh, we are going to be looking uh, also for all uh, profiles related with production, like layout artists, animators, of course, technical artists, uh, like, well, and R and D professionals, and, well, everything, more or less. Right, really? <laughs> okay, that's great. So, it's, yeah, it's going to be great, and it's going to be a very good opportunity for a lot of people. I was going to ask you also, in the last two days here at Trojan, you've had recruitment sessions. Yes. Um, and, you know, for people who might want to come to Trojan Horse next year, mm -hmm. do you want to give a bit of an insight about how those recruitment sessions worked? Uh, th uh, this year they were uh, very good organized with a very uh, nice schedule. So we had plenty of time to speak with each artist. So I, I think that it's a very good opportunity to uh, know how to face this uh, break into the business uh, and I think that it's a, a well in this case at least this year uh, we spent a lot of time speaking with its artists like explaining how to prepare themselves to uh, be ready to apply for a job and also knowing a lot of amazing artists uh, that maybe we are going to have the opportunity to work with Oh, so, that's great. Yes, it's yeah. an amazing well, opportunity for yeah. us. I would recommend coming here yes, every year. Absolutely. There's also THU meetups around the world that Andre puts on, which are really great too. Um, yeah. Especially, you know, in Europe, there's some mm. fantastic ones. Um, one of the best things is meeting other artists as well. Yes, who, yes. Uh, it's, yeah. it's great and it's very necessary. I mean, in this industry, networking it's uh, very important because sometimes it's the only way to really know what's happening in the different studios and what's happening in the industry and how to be always updated about how to work and new technologies and everything. Yeah, so. can't really say, every, you can't really talk good enough about the, the conference yes. or yeah. the event. In fact, that's one of the hardest things when someone says, what is THU? I can barely describe what it is. It's like a great mix of yes. different things. I could say it? that it's an experience. Yeah, absolutely. 
Well, it's been great talking to you, Christina. Thank you so much for coming. Nice.